Hello everyone. I want to talk about a problem that many of us may have. As it seems, do you jump from relationship to relationship? You are a man and you have this girlfriend, then the relationship ends then this girlfriend and, and that girlfriend so on and so on or are you a woman jumping from relationship to relationship when you get into a relationship do you move very fast what do i mean within a week or so within weeks in a very fast way, in a short amount of time, do you begin telling the other person that you love them? Like, you don't really know anything of that person, but you love that person. Like, you begin saying uh, very, very nice things to them as like, you are the best person I have ever had. You know, you saved my life. I am nothing without you. Like, do you, in a sense, how can I say this? Do you, in the beginning, do you place that person on a pedestal? Like, you view that person as that person can do nothing wrong like this person is the person of your dreams then after a while maybe some months or whatever you began speaking very badly about the person you are no good I hate you. You do everything wrong. Like, you are a loser. So, in the beginning, you move along very fast. I love you. I love you. Blah, 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 blah. Then after a while, I hate you. I can't stand you. You are making my life very bad. Like, and then, after that, you go back to the praising. I love you. I care about you. You are everything to me. Then shortly after that, maybe a week, a week later, two weeks later, a month or months later, like it's like you, like it goes up and down. You have very nice things to say then you have very bad things to say then you have very nice things to say then you have very bad like an up and down thing if you understand what i am saying do you think that is normal you may say you want to be loved but in truth you may be very afraid to be loved. When things are going well, inside of your mind, you are thinking, okay, when are bad things, when are the bad things going to happen? When will this person reject me? When will this person leave me? So you may begin testing the person, being manipulative, or trying to get that person to not leave you, even though that person has no intention at that time to leave you. But because you are so insecure, because you have abandonment issues, you self-sabotage the relationship because of what is going on in your head are you understanding what i am saying
You want to be loved, but you are afraid of being loved. You cause so much chaos because of that fear of rejection to where it makes the person want to leave. Even though that person had no intentions of leaving. Are you hearing me? I have a thought. If you are afraid of being abandoned, why continue to jump into relationships after relationships? Why not take time to heal? Like, you have to know that is not normal. If you are so afraid of being hurt, you need time to heal from what is going on within you. I believe that makes so much sense. Yes, your mother probably didn't love you. Yes, your father probably didn't spend too much time with you. You know, they may have gave you time, then gave you no time. Maybe took care of your needs sometimes, then other times they probably did not. So now you are this very anxious and, and insecure person. If you are afraid of men, if you are afraid of women, take time to yourself, like be by yourself. Because if you are looking for a man or woman to make you happy, let me tell you, every human being will disappoint you in one way or another. Stop looking to people to make you happy. Stop looking to people to regulate your emotions. Like you may feel like you have no control over your emotions. Like you may need a person to affirm you of who you are and how you should feel. Listen, it is okay to be alone. Hello? It is okay to take time to heal. And you may tell me, Uncle Kev, I hear what you are saying, but I don't want to be alone. I don't want, you know, like I want someone there, even though I am very chaotic. So are you telling me you want to continue hurting people in life because you want someone? But at the same time, you are afraid of that person to leave. So you are willing to hurt that person instead of doing what is necessary for you to heal. You have to know the way you are behaving is not normal. It may be common for some people to do it, but it is not normal. I hope this makes sense. What you should do is pray to God. You can say like, uh, God, um, I am a certain way that I should not be. I have insecurity. I have bad relationships. I have very bad anger problems. I, you know, I do this, I do that. And it's not that I want to be that way, but I continue to be in this way. God, please help me. From there, read the Bible and continue to pray. You may even need to fast. Don't eat or drink anything for a certain time, but do it as many times as possible. Because the route you are going on, is it really making things better? Are you becoming more healed by 
doing these things. No. So I think it is time for you to go another route. Take time to heal. Speak to Jesus Christ. Pray to him. No man can really heal you. No woman can really heal you. But God can do something about it. A person can tell you about God. They can give you scriptures. But it takes you to want to change. And you may say, Kevin, I am trying to change so much. Keep on pressing in. Keep on seeking God. Keep on like asking him for help. But let me stop here. May God bless us.